Hello everyone and welcome back to Twin Peaks, the map that we've created ourselves in Transport Fever 2. The map has two large map um, islands either end of the uh, map and a number of uh, small uh, tropical islands in the middle. So um, we are over on this island today and I just wanted to quickly take a look down here because I noticed that we've got a lot of trucks and they're kind of backing up a bit so I just want to take some of these out so that they don't affect these junctions over here so let's reduce these down a bit probably change these vehicles as well. There we go. Uh, so if we change like three of them to these bad boys, uh, then we can get rid of the other ones, I think. Get rid of the old. Oh, We've got machines to Fukuoka. There, those are being used. Is this line one? Oh, and seal. Seal and Fukuoka. Probably butchering those pronunciations, but. So this one's down here, and it's just not really being used. Ah, there isn't machines on there, so there's no machines down here, although there is lots of food here. So we should probably change this up and then add a few more vehicles to that one. Um, wow. Seal's, Seal's got a nice uh, bit of, well, big old residential building in the middle. Um, where was the Fukuoka, that one down here? Do we have any? We don't have any boats there. We do have some ore there, which we could use as well. But anyway, that's um, probably for another day. We'll need to focus on that. So over here... We have two um, pretty busy areas, quite a few, if we take like three vehicles off of here, hopefully it'll be enough then for them all to just come down, that's the hope at least, there we go. Um, what we could also do is maybe we can upgrade this road down here. So we want this one. No. Um, I don't know whether this is going <laughs> to allow us to <laughs> build the road in, to be honest with you. Um, we might need to remove these just until we've got this in. And then we can hopefully put them back in. And it might work. May allow it. So let's put it roughly in the middle there, as far down as it will go. It's about there, I think. And then, especially now that we've put in this new uh, depot here, it should hopefully. Damn. That's too close. What about this one? Because it might just be collision. Hmm. So we can do entrances, which is fine. What about exits? Which is also fine. And there we go. Now that's fine. So maybe we just need an exit 
an entrance and one of these. There we go. And there's no point in having dual lanes down here, so we might as well change this back to a single lane. So then that should also improve the flow through because we've got trucks coming off that way and coming down here to cross over or we've got a dedicated well for their left hand turn into the um, depot area we could probably also Im improve this one while we've got time um, before you know putting more stuff in over here um, it'd be really nice to actually do uh, trains down here um, I probably have to do something similar to what we've got on the other island which I'll be honest I just don't know how we would get in on this island um, it would be pretty tricky to to do that unfortunately um, but it, I would like to do it it's just a case of I don't know how we would do it um, I guess you never really know until you look into it <laughs> initially anyway. Um, so, you know, watch this space. We may well do that in the not too distant future. I could imagine having, you know, like a station over here, a station over here, maybe a station over here, and then something over here, something over here, and just something back here, just so then... Anything that comes into the harbour gets distributed around the entire island quite quickly and easily. But then we would have to do from the station to wherever it would be going. We've also just put in, in this over here. Um, so we don't necessarily want to change too much up uh, just after <laughs> putting that in. Um, there's one down here which is quite busy. Let's put another truck on that one. Yeah, this is a distribution area for putting things around Ankara and also Shangsha. So, two distribution areas. What we do want to do, do do, is um, bring in stone here for the bricks, but also plastic and steel for over here. Um, I know that we have plastic and steel over here. In fact, we could just do a boat line up and back down. That might be quite a good way to do it. Uh, that could be better than what we've currently got. So we've got steel... They're getting stuff from just here and here. We've got another ore mine there. I'm sure we've got another coal mine laying around somewhere. There's a coal mine. So we can bring stuff into this steel uh, factory. And then that should bring stuff up here. But yeah, what we can do is, in fact, we could upgrade this to be able to take three um, ships. So if we take one of those out and then put in two of these, and then we would need landings. It's always the landings that take the most time to place. I don't understand why it, it just seems to uh, be adding something to the map, maybe. Um, I don't know whether that's going to be navigable water, but we will find out. And then the good thing is that this then has a connection to both the goods factory and the bricks factory. So <clears throat> if we set up a line here maybe it could bring back well that reaches over here actually which is where the bricks lines take stuff to 
two things that need bricks, I think. Yeah. Oh, apart from Delhi. Delhi doesn't have one just yet. But what we could do is... <clears throat> in fact, enough talk. <laughs> Instead of talking about it, let's just do it. So make sure that's on the right one. Put them to number two. So put a line just between here and here. Probably the smallest boat line that we've got going on. But what they'll do is over here, fill up on steel and plastic. And over here, uh, unload steel and plastic and pick up bricks. And in fact, over here we want to unload bricks. So we want them to fill, full load, if any, or full load any. And we don't want them waiting three minutes. We'd probably want them waiting like maybe, <sighs> I mean, if we only put one boat on here, that shouldn't be too bad. So maybe 120, have them waiting two minutes. In fact, have them wait two minutes here and over here, have them wait maybe 60, 45 seconds, I reckon. So what we can then do is bring in stone, plastic and steel here. We're already bringing in the steel and plastic from over here, actually aren't we? So that's not too bad. Um, I think that has a straight up connection to the steel one. We don't have a connection to the plastic one though. We do over here. So maybe that's something we could look at is have the boat come all the way around. It's a bit pointless, isn't it? When we can just use this plastic line to, does that reach there? It doesn't quite, does it? No, it doesn't quite. Look at how close that is. It's on this side. If it was on this side, then it would have reached, but it just doesn't quite. So maybe we just need to edit this plastic and steel line so that it brings it over here a little bit closer somewhere. Um, and then that <coughs> boat line can take it off to where it needs to go. So, let's put a boat on that line. There's boat yard over here. So we'll grab, what are our biggest boats? Probably one of these. One of these ones that has like 300 capacity and that could take steel, plastic and uh, bricks which is what we need so if we pop that onto there and then if we steal this uh, <laughs> steal this plastic and steel line um, ah, actually that goes pretty much down here where do we want it to deliver be kind of good if it could deliver maybe here just because uh, I mean these these vehicles might get in the way the is the only problem maybe we can reduce these down a little bit give these the newer trucks get rid of the old ones sell one of these Change out these lines, give them the new trucks, get rid of some of the older ones. So reducing down but improving the speed and capacity hopefully of that line. So if we take out these little bits and bobs where it's going and just pop it into there. 
So there it's unloading, there it's picking up plastic. It all, we already have a connection to the steel mill here, so it's not needed to go around that way. We've just lost all that steel, all that plastic, which is a bit annoying. But it's quite a short line for it, so I don't think we need too many vehicles. If anything, like maybe five should do it at a push. Um, so that will put plastic on this line. We're going to bring back bricks over here. So I don't even know if we'll need these lines, to be honest. Um, because we can just do that through the line we've got over here. One of these. We could even have, similar to what we've done up here for um, Ankara and Shansha, have something down here for Kawasaki and Delhi. Uh, we already have a station here. So we can move it out and then have multiple purpose station for that sort of thing, possibly. I did notice we've got a lot of logs here to, or planks to move from A to B. So if we maybe buy another five of these, how about the one that doesn't have stuff on it? Maybe buy another five of those just in case. Because the last thing we want is for those to not get to where they need to go. We've got a whole heap of stuff here. And then how's this one doing? 93%, 99%. So it's actually getting to where it needs to go. Um, so what's the capacity of this line? We've got 273, 147. So about 420 odd, 425. Um, And it's every 38 seconds. So these are, what are these vehicles? Man dump trucks. These take 21, they go 50 mile an hour. That's not too bad. I wonder how many we would need to change it over. I mean, we could just use these tarpaulin trucks. They take any anything. And they'll take 25. And they'll go a little bit faster as well. Let's give that a try. I'll reduce it down to 10. Um, because the higher speed... Uh, maybe we need a little bit more. Maybe like 15. That should be more like it, yeah. So we'll see how that does. Um, over here. So I think if we did a line over here to then take goods, uh, machines, food and bricks, and then distribute them around the two cities, that would be quite all right, that would be decent. Um, we could even move this station further out because how's the emissions there? It's not going to be good. So if we moved it more up this way, this would be a straighter route through. And it would actually pull the uh, trains away from where the residential areas are for Delhi. How's Delhi's deliveries? Okay, so they're getting all the way down here and over here, which is good. They're, they're providing everything down this way 
Although nothing over here. These are literally so close to, or, to each other. So pointless. Having two. Should push this one further out this way, I reckon. And then maybe have another one over here. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll pop one there. We'll have one up here. And we'll repurpose this over here. So if we take this out, delete that. We're going to need quite a few of these, uh, I reckon. So. I don't know whether we even need. So we have the two that's uh, for the stuff that's already th there, these two. <clears throat> oh, that only fits one. Maybe that'll fit two. <laughs> it must be so close to fitting to. That must, that must do too. So then we can do entrance, pop one there, pop an exit there. Let's remove this road back. Oops, that's a bit too big. Oopsie. So what we'll do is we'll have all the bricks and machines and goods and food all delivered here, and then we'll distribute it out from here. I think is probably the best way to do it. So if we take that to there, then we can do out from here into there. Back to there.
And we're not too sure how many we'll need, so we'll leave it at that for now. But these lines should hopefully... Let's try popping them on those lines. Hmm. Don't know why it's not going down this way. That one on number three. This one on number four. Let's see how that does. Right, so it's bringing tools up there. Tools are not needed over here, are they? No. It's literally just Dhaka and Hong Kong that need those. Right, so we've got a delivery point for the planks. Um, we've almost got a road going into this road over here, so we could create almost a sort of turning circle here, I reckon. Just where all the deliveries come up to. So if we pop a few of these underneath here, so if, hang on, let's do this side for these ones, this side for these ones. <clears throat> we can pull this over here probably so instead of number two go here and what where does that line go goes that back that way. I mean, we could just carry this road through here rather than having it connect up down this way. And that changes things up a little bit, but hopefully... a little bit weird. Let's use the smooth tool on that. There we go, fix things up. So if we delete this row and then we're do, gonna do a straight road through here. And take this out. Have this connect in there nicely. And then these can connect. Like so. If we push this one a little bit further back as well. We can connect those in. It's just a bit nicer of a road through then. We can connect this road down to over here. So, 
if we is this already yeah this is already higher quality road and then if we take one of these slap it in there it creates a nice curve much slope. There we go. So you'll let row go in this direction up to here to get onto the main way through. Has this one altered? Uh, yes, it has. This now goes backs and forwards there, but we can change that to number one so that it's a bit nicer for it. And it just goes straight down and comes back. It's a nice little route. How many vehicles does that have? 15. Wow. Don't know whether that actually needs 15. <laughs> I know I just put them on, but don't know whether it's needed. Um, maybe we could continue this road through this way. This can almost definitely connect up there. another way through that way so now we have our planks coming up to the tools um, producer and then we can also bring up the bricks and what have you to a distribution point here which will then do bricks into here and also food, of course. So this deli line, um, yes, now I remember it brings in the food and then it, cool, okay. Um, so if we change this one up slightly, so it delivers down here, then we distribute it into wherever it needs to go. So from there, it goes there. I'd actually like it to go here instead of there. So before it picks up food, here it needs to unload the food. Down here, picks up grain, and then it goes back. It's a good little route for it, to be honest. works quite well. So that's one of the food lines. Uh, we can rename that to a food line because it's not delivering it to anywhere. I mean it is d delivering it to Delhi but that's not the point. It's, it's a sort of a midway line. So this brings it up there bring it down here instead where it will unload the food and it waits for 10 minutes wow that's quite a long wait so that's the two food lines so what we would need to do is replace them with lines going into the specific areas um, let's just change out the Delhi brick line which brings bricks from oh over here actually um, see I don't know whether we might just change it to a line here bringing it up 
to here and then we can distribute it out to wherever it needs it is needed <clears throat> so instead of going there go down here go to number one there please and then instead of going there because we'll be bringing bricks back we'll bring you down here where you will fill up on bricks in fact what else is needed up this way bricks food goods and machines take whatever you can so take bricks goods machines all of it and that is no longer deli line and in fact it's bricks goods and machines there we go very nice a connection there doesn't it yeah good we could just call this the let's do goods as well why not so that line first off the a is capitalized so let's change that over here fills up on steel and what have you takes back goods and it's just literally to basically get to these um, factories without having to have a uh, big old line right in the middle right in the middle coming into shang uh, sha it should reduce emissions in the middle of the city um so we actually have this line going down here already i believe we have line two which comes down here so this one's now redundant this line can go away um, we could change it to one of these maybe pop the vehicles on there and then we can oh this is line one this is the first line we ever had for bricks wow it's quite a uh, momentous day that that's getting taken away so this one comes down here for bricks and goods so it might be worth keeping that line in there um, the Kawasaki line again we're changing to a distribution point out here so we can just have this line in fact we've already got a line that brings goods and machines from there up to there and bricks up to, from there up to there so this line's kind of pointless now so we can get rid of it although it's got vehicles on the line we can get rid of it What was the other line here? So Medan line. So this one goes down to Medan. We don't actually have a distribution area for Medan. We can see that Hong Kong's one's getting quite busy. Uh, is that that line? 
That one is getting somewhat busy, so maybe we can add maybe like three more vehicles onto that one. And then... This one? This one is pretty busy. So let's add a couple of vehicles on there. Just to make sure that they don't overflow because that would be pretty catastrophic. Um, right, so now we need to do the lines from here to wherever they need to go in the different cities. So we need a line from here down to there. We need a line from here down to... We were going to put one here, weren't we? And we need another line. It's all the colours that are really difficult to see that this mod's doing, which is really annoying. <laughs> there we go. Take that out. So these lines, so first off, these are all for Delhi. These are cargo, excuse me, via the road. And these are for bricks and food. That's Delhi line one. This is Delhi Line 2. This is Delhi Line 3. And then that's all those done. Um, maybe we could connect this bit up. So if we... I don't know what we could do about the train station. We, we wanted to push the train station out, didn't we? To here, we don't know how many we'll need for Kawasaki, so let's just keep an eye on that first before we change things up too much for Kawasaki. So we currently have a stop here, which is bringing goods to Kawasaki from down here. We should probably bring them up here instead. Something like that. So, where's the other cargo stop? Do we even have machines being delivered to Kawasaki? We do. What was this taking? Is it taking... Both goods and machines? No. Where are the ma where's the machine stop? Am I just being blind? Is it this one down here? Oh, what's happened here? We've got both going on this one. That one needs to change. So for number three, go there instead. There we go. That fixes that one. Ah, here it is. Machines. So that's coming from down here as well. So we can kill three birds with one stone, <laughs> effectively. Um, so let's get rid of that one. Considering the other line already does what we need it to do. Uh, goods for Kawasaki can also go. Okay, and now all of a sudden we've got some free space here to use if needed. Um, we've got this line, which does all three of those, so we need to upgrade those to be one of those trucks that just takes everything. And we need to do the lines into Kawasaki. So we've got one there, one there. Where else are they really needed? They are needed maybe up here. 
and that could allow that road to grow out this way, which looks quite nice. Um, what else? I mean, where Kawasaki's train line comes in, if we pushed it further up towards the uh, cliffs, then that could allow more space for things to grow. If we change where the train line is, then that could allow more space for buildings to come in here. Mm, potentially, we could have it come round and go up that way. Um, it would mean that we'd have to change the roads layout down here, which won't be that big of a deal, um, to be honest. We may even be able to do some sort of just one train station that satisfies both, potentially. That'd be pretty crazy. I've never really done a train station like that before. Um, how are emissions doing around here? So for Kawasaki, emissions are pretty poor. Very poor, in fact. Delhi, very poor. So it's not good. Um, We could even, if we did have a train station here that s serviced both um, of these two cities, so effectively making one sort of big city sort of thing, um, or even just down here that both cities utilized, then what we could do, well, first off, this is very overkill. I don't think it's necessary. Really, um, considering the train line pretty much does all of these now, um, I don't think that's really necessary to have boat uh, bus lines between the cities. I mean, I kind of like having an option for them, but I don't know why they would never take the. Uh, train when it's faster has more capacity and ultimately just a bit nicer so we would have to take stuff like this out which won't be that bad of an issue and in fact it would connect up both Delhi and Kawasaki's public transports quite well because what I'd envision is a train line down here with a large um, connecting um, sort of depot for the public transport and then uh, that would allow us to the only problem is that with the, with the train lines we would have to probably do something to take them out of the, the equation. I don't know. Leave that one in the possibility bank. Um, let's move these a little bit so that they have their own lines. So we have three left. So two of those are spoken for. In fact, three of those are spoken for already. Where the, where else is the cargo needed? So does this one suffice stuff up here? It doesn't, does it? Whereas that one, these two sort of overlap. It comes down to about here. This one comes down to about over here. So we can move this over ever so slightly. Um, this on the main uh 
road through is probably kind of a bad idea, but at the same time, traffic's not building up. It's uh, not too much of an issue. Where else are things needed? So these are getting to up here. These are getting to up here. These are gonna supply service up here. So I think that might be all that's needed actually. Those three light free um stations. So we've not got anything on that one anymore. So we can get rid of that. So those three lines should actually deal with it quite nicely. I think. So we'll need one there, one there, one there. And then that's where everything can distribute out from. We've got this here, which again is no longer needed. We've upgraded it to go down here under the bridge, which will look quite cool. And that will actually do. Um, let's just steal the naming scheme a little bit here. So with this one, it'll be goods and machines. So cargo road, goods, and machines. And it's not Delhi, it is Kawasaki. E. Kawasaki. Yeah, that's good. Copy that. Paste it in there. it in there. So if all the Kawasaki lines are going down here, we can maybe do something like we, where would be the most optimal place for these different lines. I think the Delhi ones should go on this side so then they can come in and go off. To where they need to go. Although maybe where they are, it means that they can come in and go out to where they need to go. Mm -hmm. Let's just give each one its own place. That should be fine. Um, I do need to colour these a little, something a little bit better though, because at the moment they're invisible on this. So Delhi, maybe we can do like a nice orange slash brown colour. There we go. And then Kawasaki, these ones here. I don't know, for Kawasaki I'm feeling like a blue Maybe like a, a light blue to a dark uh, blue. Something like that. And then you can see the lines in this menu, at least, a lot better than before. Those Kawasaki lines are pretty perfectly coming in and then going out. Um, these tool lines are going to where they need to go. They're just coming in and going out that way, which is quite good. I'm quite happy with how that's working. Uh, we just need vehicles for them actually, don't we? So we've got about six lines there. What I'll do is I'll buy six of these vehicles and then we can pop them onto the uh, 
different lines we've got here. I don't know whether this is going to work with uh, auto save. Oh, it has actually. There we go. And those tool lines already have stuff on them, don't they? So they're just going backwards and forwards down here. Cool. Well, that's actually worked quite well because we've got food, we've got planks, we've got uh, bricks, we've got goods and machines coming over here. We've actually made that quite an efficient line for the goods, machines and bricks. Uh, so we need probably a few more vehicles on that one. I would imagine. And we can bring more bricks and goods down here using the boats whenever we want. We just need a line for stone to come over here. I'm kind of feeling like this would be perfect for a, um, a boat. So a boat line from here over to here is probably perfect. Um, so if we just uh, flatten this area out a little bit, something like this, smooth it down. And then if we do one large uh, drop off point, in fact, if we just change this a little bit, so, that we have a decent area for it to come into. What we can do is put a road there, which will act as sort of a buffer between the two. Oh, I don't want it to not be possible for one of these roads to be there, just in case. And then if we flatten this area out a little bit more. We're going to smooth all this so it should look good. Uh, don't worry about it too much. So then we take the smooth tool. In fact, this area over here needs to be deeper, I would say. So we create a through for it. And then if we smooth this lot, <clears throat> what we can do is replace this line with a stone line that literally just goes backwards and forwards with stone. Of course, it's going to use the exact same thingy is the other one for whatever reason so we want that to be full and we want it to take stone and we want it to drop off stone and what does madame need goods and fuel maybe we could take some goods back with us and have a little distribution hub for Medan over here. Possibly. We've also got logs here that can be used. So if we get a boat to put on there. Use this one, maybe. Mm. 
How many other stone lines are there? None. It's the first of its type. So we have a boat here that's going to this line here. Steel bricks and goods. That's just going to go back and forwards there. And then we have this line over here. We could possibly do goods to there from here. So we've got the goods place. Um, how are these doing? We upgraded those, didn't we? Yep. just got so many planks there which come over here don't they get delivered there we got tools to bring down to here so many tools okay um so let's hit play, let's see how this goes. One of these could do with more, that one. Let's duplicate those up. Um, one of these could do with more. Let's give them an extra two. Which line is this one? Is that the one that we just looked at? No. It was that one, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, that one actually already has quite a few, so we'll just put one more on there. These lines aren't really being used that much. Even though it's got stuff around it. Hmm. Okay. Right. This is still growing. More and more stuff to go through that way. We just had another delivery of. Planks. How much are these doing? Almost 900 a year. It's pretty crazy. I'm just going to get more vehicles for that line. It's just not enough. We got Shin Shinkansen going through. Actually, looks like um, stream might be suffering a bit. So, what if I change the settings slightly? I can't while it's doing it. Okay. Well, I'm sorry if the stream's a little bit bad. We will uh, keep that in mind going forward. It would definitely improve things for Delhi if we had just one train station down here for Kawasaki and Delhi. I'm just trying to think how the train lines would work because we've got this one coming in here 
and then we would need to probably bring it up this way, go into a tunnel, maybe, and go underneath here. Or some way come through there. So if we were to do that, I reckon we'd want train line here, train station here even. We'd probably have to remove that one, which is fine. We can just move it like somewhere else, <laughs> like over here. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. So if we remove that one, hopefully it'll just jump to there. Yep, it has. Good. And then we would want these train lines maybe we can just go into a tunnel how far would it need to go to go into a tunnel like about there up over here maybe just because then it avoids these main routes through for traffic one I mean we could go into a tunnel somewhere around here maybe or even from here pop into a tunnel going this way and come around Split off from there, how far would it need to go until it comes up over this road? Probably quite far, and then it's not going to be able to get into a tunnel from there, which is a little bit annoying. Maybe it could go from there down underneath from here. Too much slope. Is it because we've yeah. Ooh. That could work. Maybe if we stretch out this way. Then that could f connect in there. If we just remove this road that's literally just spawned <laughs> Um, while we were doing all the stuff with the things over the way, we're trying to take these into tunnels. So, why is there collision? What's it colliding with? Is it colliding with itself there? It is. Okay. So, if 
we went from a tunnel around here out so something like that is going off in that direction So this will be where that bridge plugs in and we'll literally just connect these up uh, <laughs> if it allows it. There we go, like so. Um, that one's not working. So then that will plug in there. This one quite simply will just plug in that way. As for the roads, we would need probably about a three by three of electric. Something like this. Bearing in mind, we'll be taking away we'll be taking away the old train line that's there. So that could plug in quite nicely there with some steps, like so. And then if we did an exit on this side we can just have a nice road electric tram line road going up to here which will then be what the road turns into and we'll have that coming into the city this way And we will also have electric tram road going up this way to connect in there and connect in with the existing route through. Um, so that should be pretty doable with what we've already got. In fact, This road coming through here, once we remove this, can we probably need to work on the uh, transport around Delhi a little bit. And we'll be able to do that once we rip out the old tra um, train line through. As for roads coming through for uh, over here, well, we'll probably just plug in here. We'll be removing this old station, just bringing this stuff over to here. What we may do is have, so we've got the Delhi counterclockwise and the Delhi clockwise, and then we've got the Kawasaki counterclockwise and Kawasaki clockwise. What the other two lines could be is one down to the harbours and one to the train line, or the train line, to the airport is probably the best to have. Um, because then we'll have 
good connections to other uh, cities on the map using the, the harbours and the uh, airport to the other side of the map. I feel like we should upgrade this road so that it's tarmac. There we go. <clears throat> and then the only place where a level crossing will be will be here, hopefully. Um, we may be able to coerce this into coming over this way. Something like that might entice it into there. <clears throat> and then we just have to connect this in here, remove the old stuff, connect this in here, remove this old line that's sort of zigzagging around a farm and what have you. So if we go ahead and do that, first off, there's no trains in the bits where we want to remove, are there? No. So that's good. In fact, there's one coming up to it where we want to start removing. So... Let's just get rid of this lot. done as well for the past however many years in game so we can't really trash we can't really hate this like it's it's served its purpose um, and now we're you know, removing it for good good reasons we'll hopefully reduce the emissions and also um, improve the connections in the area, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm quite. It's kind of sad to see it go, but it's also not in the same <laughs> at the same time because it was just it was a bit thrown in there. So this should serve as a better way through. Nice sweeping curve in. We're reclaiming a lot of space for the cities to grow into. We're even connecting up the two cities quite well with this uh, central exchange. So I'm I'm quite happy with this. Um, I tell you what we do need to do is so the harbour line needs to be changed over. So the harbour line. We'll go for Shansha to up here. And then back. So you're not going to Delhi, you're just coming up this way. Cool. Okay. And then the Delhi lines, so I think we should replace this with a stop somewhere around here. Maybe even a stop going in from this road into here. So if we remove the obstacle, so first off, we should be able to upgrade these. I don't really want them to have trams on these roads. Uh, these are quite key roads through. We'll do a tram over that way, which is where it will tie in.
So we might actually have to replace what we've got going on here with the uh, goods deliveries to turn them into public transport stop. And then the goods deliveries can probably go on a road just a little bit further down. We could even upgrade this road through so that it's that's actually one of the main routes through Delhi so that it is just a a larger route through can take more traffic not that traffic's really that big of an issue at this point um, and then we can Right, so you're no longer going to Delhi or Kawasaki. You're just going here, which is Kawasaki North. This is what we will be calling it. So we'll pop that in, we'll take out the old ones. And it should just clip, go straight through. There shouldn't be any issues there. Um, we'll put some signals in. It's almost perfectly weaved in. Um, now versus where it was before so I'm quite happy with this upgrade and uh, we just need to alter oh those lines have already adapted which is cool to see um, so we've got a line that comes down maybe we can move this one over here and then from 5 it goes down to here and then to six back to six so if we popped in a stop down here which annoyingly is across like three roads so take out number five after number four you go here and then after number five you go here that's your, your little route. Uh, at Kawasaki Interchange, we want you to go to number one because that's most out the way, I think. And then the other line. So from number two, you need to come down here put that one on to number six and then after number three you go there and you don't go to number four okay 
So that should now pretty much cover the same area as this one, which we can take the old stops out for. Auto save allowing. There we go. So Delhi should grow pretty well with the distribution that we're doing here and also the um, new uh, the emissions going down and the transport route being improved so hopefully that will improve things here um, as for over here so firstly we're going to need a line so if we just did uh, Delhi and Kawasaki to the harbour we can upgrade these vehicles so that they've got some nice new um, what ones were these? these were the BK 670s aren't they which have 21 capacity and go 50 miles an hour we can change those to maybe the Mazes which have 19 capacity go a bit faster um, so we need to put in these lines actually that works quite well because uh, we've got a route coming down this way already and then we just need to put in another stop here I would reckon so if we just pop in a stop here and then we upgrade the streets so first off if we remove this street so this becomes the road down to the here and place that with that these two can meet up there and what would be quite nice is if we have that one go up to here and then we'll upgrade these roads and this one can just plug in there We'll upgrade these roads with no Ujima flip there, just so it's a better route through. Um, and then what else do we need to do here? So we need to take... We can repurpose the Kawasaki Harbour public transport line and do airport. And then over here, do Delhi and Kawasaki to airport. So instead of there, you'll go here and you will use number one. And then instead of there, you'll go here and use actually yeah number four so instead of that one we'll just go down to there cool so this line instead of number four you'll go here which for some reason you can't do probably because the roads aren't um, Ujima flipped, but that's fine. We will alter that up. So, what one's this one? This one's clockwise. If we just try and pair these up, so clockwise would be on the other side, so go to number five. So then we've got Delhi and Kawasaki's clockwise lines on the same side the same wing of these um, this thing 
We could even we delete this back. Have this road out from here. Marry into this one. So then that just improves the junction there a little bit. Um, we might even improve that a little bit so that it can be maybe a one-way thing. So they come down here, come in that way. I quite like that idea actually. Can we do an exit there? No, it's too close. Oh, what have I done? That's a bit weird, I've never seen that before. Whoops. I've broken it. So we want an exit there. So now that line just comes straight down and goes back very efficiently. Um, we've got some other things going through there, which I don't necessarily agree on, but I don't know what else we can do other than putting in a marker, but it's kind of pointless. So don't worry about it. So we need to put in the counterclockwise line for Kawasaki. Did we have the other one go down here? We did, didn't we? So the counterclockwise line from number two will go down here and it will go to number two and then it will go there and it will not go to Kawasaki branch. So that's fine. We just need to upgrade this bit with electric tram road. Like so. And then those should be fine to go through that way. Very nice. Awesome. Um, I think those still pretty well cover where they need to go. If anything, we might need to push it out a little bit around here. Which isn't too bad of an issue. Um, so, these old lines, which are kind of pointless, to be honest with you. I mean, maybe Kawasaki to Shangsha, but nah. let's just get rid of them, I think. So if we focus on the lines that are here, so it's that one, that one, that one, these ones basically. Sell those, and then we can go into the same thing here. Just get rid of these. They're no longer needed. And then we can get rid of that as well. And then over here, we had a few of these bolt onto here, didn't we? So, what would this be? Ankara to Delhi, Shangsha to Delhi. Osaka Delhi, Hong Kong Delhi, Medan Delhi, just get rid of them, they're no longer needed. I 
think this line needs to go over here instead. So at number one, go there. And then that's all of those done. That deli line actually goes around in quite a good circle, that's fine. We might want to bring this down this way, which could even just connect in here. took one of these just to be and then plug that into there I'd prefer if there was a bit more of a curve like so in at the same spot. There we go. I'll tell you what we could do as well is um, probably erase <laughs> these farmers fields here. Uh, that is a very large brush size. Considering this is now on parts of Delhi take Ooh, which one's which wheat is this one and just fill in the spaces a little bit whoops no damn it That's the wrong one. The farmers' fields have uh, changed somewhat. In fact, this bit's now Kawasaki. And this bit down here. Oh, I didn't mean to remove that bit. Never mind. Uh, gravel sand. Nope. Oh, that's annoying. There we go. That'll do. Nice little beach down here. We got the transport hub. We got connections to both the airport and the harbour. We've got the tram lines into these need to be upgraded to say tram. You know what? If we just zoom in down here and take a look at these, so we got this one needs to say 
cram. This one. Nope, that's a boat. That's a bus, even. Trasm. That's something else entirely. I have no idea what it is, but it sounds like it probably is a thing. A trasm. <laughs> I just don't know what. This one needs to be road. 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 <laughs> There we go. So that's improved things for Delhi and for Kawasaki now. So hopefully we will see a whole load of improvements. Hopefully. This looks like it's got too few, too many even. And then this one's not got enough. The line here, the airport. If we upgrade those to Mazas as well, that should be quite a good connection actually. Straight through for the airport and straight through for the harbour. So that goes up this way, comes out there. Um, Right, we've got some traffic issues, probably with trucks. Yeah, going backwards and forwards here. Maybe this needs to be traffic lights, after all. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Those don't need to be traffic lights. Oh my giddy on, we've got all of these waiting. We got lots of steel and stuff to go from here. The boat's still making its way through. I don't know what we can do about that. Maybe we can have another depot around here. And we um, put on another boat. <laughs> Let's just make sure that it comes from here. Because otherwise it's going to take forever to get around there. I'm guessing we've got, yep, we've got bricks there already. So what lines are, are left here? This one that goes up there, which is fine. 
this one to Medan, which goes through this way. And to be honest, we can remove that bit of it because the, this boat will be taking over that purpose. Um, where is the boat? The boat's there. So we can reduce this one down a little bit. So here and here are not needed. You just pick up goods and you drop off goods. Good. Okay. It's going to look a little bit weird, but we'll put that to be... little road here. We've got a uh, route through there. I forgot we put that in actually. So then we have stone here, don't we? Stone to Nagoya. No, this is the food line, isn't it? So, let's just get this straight in our head. It's there, down to here, and then up to there, up to there, down to Nagoya there. So we don't need these two lines. So that can reduce where that goes. Um, we can even improve these by putting on... I would estimate it would only need about six of these, although I may be completely wrong. We never know. has had a very large building put in and it's got rad lobster and wieners <laughs> <laughs> in it <laughs> oh god I'm a child um, rad lobster and wieners that's amazing um so we've got these lines coming down this way. For here. And this actually isn't too bad considering we've split these up. So now, how long do these wait? Wait for like 45 seconds, don't wait 3 minutes. It's far too long. This slot should start flowing through, I would imagine. Now that we've got something coming through here. Does this need to be upgraded, maybe? It's weird, it's like it's all just stuck here. Why? Is it because these are dropping off stuff here? Is that what's causing the problem? So if we maybe did a little road next <laughs> a little road next to it maybe? Too much slope.
So if that goes there instead, then hopefully it'll allow stuff to flow through a little bit better. Maybe. I'll have to wait and see, I think. I don't understand why it's just having so many issues. Quite a lot of traffic coming through from this way, but there's not that much. Why are the traffic lights not changing? Alright, that's that lot through. Now let these go. There we go. Bizarre. Do we need to improve? We can't make these bigger, which is annoying. Um, can we, if we remove this? Not quite. Does that help things flow? <laughs> I'm just uh, grasping at straws here at the end. Uh, to be honest with you, <clears throat> I think maybe this needs to be just a normal route through. And then this allows things to split out into whichever lane they need. This has problems. Oh, yeah, 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 because we took that out. Um, That connects there, we could just have it come down to here instead. So we can build this out. Mm, maybe. So if we move this one over here, so then let's just see these. We would want that one on number three, please. And then this one on number one, that one on number two, that one on number one. There we go. That's the right way around. So then that just removes stuff stopping on this road, hopefully. 
Hopefully that's enough to allow it to flow through. We can but hope. A lot of stuff is coming down here and getting stuck, isn't it? Maybe we need to improve this road through. I think if anything, this needs to be two lanes as well, because it looks like a lot of the stuff is coming down this way, but we can't do that. I don't understand why so much of this is coming down this way. That's going that way. I see. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What if we did something like this? So that connecting there. And then this plug in there. Maybe that will help cope a little bit more this is the tools line down here why isn't it just coming down this main road turning right there Separating here. Ah, a lot of stuff is going off that way. I see. Yeah, a lot of this is going down that way. That's why. It must be a faster route through for them. If we upgrade that to a three lane, nah, that's too much. This is just madness here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
So if we went on here, what, what do we see? We got a lot of lines crossing over here. I think it's because we've upgraded this road through. So it's gone from a 50 mile an hour to a 62 mile an hour, which the extra large road is. It means that a lot of this traffic is just coming through this way. What is using this road? A lot of different lines are going that way. When in actual fact it might not be um, that good for it. Stuff just still does go through down this way, but not as much. That's pretty nuts. Not really sure what more we can do to help it flow through. It is starting to flow, it's just taking its time about it. Quite possibly removing this part of the junction, so this is just a three-way junction or something could help it. To be honest, I'm not very happy that this has become <laughs> a major route through because it's just not able to cope, is it? I don't see what else we can do, really. Unfortunately. So it looks like a lot of this stuff wants to go that way. So 
So possibly having this road come through this way could do something about that. It's always this junction as well. Like maybe if we just remove this junction, it'll flow a lot better. It's all coming down to here, this point. Starting to clear through now. Darker Nagoya. That's actually the darker to harbour. Line. I'm tempted to just take this out. See how that does. Although now that doesn't ca oh, bollocks. Now that doesn't connect. That is annoying. Um So that might change how things flow. Wow, everything goes down here and goes through that way. Is that just because we've taken that out? Surely not. Or is it because we upgraded this route through here? Everything's going through that way now. Which does not look better. <laughs> Maybe having these as the um, was it medium country roads was way better. Because stuff didn't choose to be on here, it would use the fly through.
probably better. Dedicated right hand lane. Oh wow, that boat's actually getting there now. That's pretty nuts. It's only just arriving. <coughs> oh dear, it's going down. It needs... these. That one's full with uh, stone, so at least it should get there. Maybe we need another vehicle on there. This needs way more steel. This is currently struggling. Um, well, we could build another line to bring in more steel and, uh, sorry, coal and ore, uh, because we got coal. Ah, but we've got another steel line up here, which we could bring into the fold. How's Darker doing with getting goods? Only 50% of this needs. It needs 612 tools. You what? So many more are going down this way. Hong Kong needs 592. Wow. Just wow. Hmm. I wonder what we can do, I mean we could use these two and then this one, do we have any more, ah we have coal there, maybe we could bring coal round to it, does that reach it, no it doesn't, it doesn't quite we brought coal down here. Are these being utilised? Quite a few of these are actually being utilised. Doesn't mean that we can't take coal and ore from there. Bring it up. Might even be able to use the current line. So bring it up to here, bring coal, coal and ore from here up to here. Use that line that we've already got. Should put more vehicles on it. It's getting about 69% of what it needs to to where it needs to. It might be way better if we had a route through here. 
because then it avoids all of this medlam a little bit. This can go. This is all going by boat now. Move this to back here. So two and five. Where's that one? Well, if we get rid of that, it can go wherever it wants then. Which route does that take? Oh, it's just coming across there anyway. Well, we don't want that. We want it to go down this way. So, after that one, go through here, and uh, go back that way as well, please. see whether that helps. Maybe if we um, upgrade this road so that the speed limit here is faster, it'll um, actually bring more traffic through this way. You never know. It might not. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't at all. 100% of that is going to where it needs to go. One of these from there to there. So you're going to be filling up on coal and all. In fact, do we want coal? Because we've got coal here we could pick up from. This one already picks up from there. Only, well, 0% is getting to where it needs to go. Interesting. Probably because it's filling up there. Yeah. So if we alter this slightly, um, so that line one can then go on to down here. And then back to here. This is cargo, boat, coal, and ore. Line something. 
9-1. So then we have to update this line so that from here it can take both coal and ore. Whereas over here it's just picking up coal. Cool. Okay. So that's bringing in coal and ore from both of these. And then if we wanted to, we can get this underway. Um, do we have anything else that needs steel? We've got steel needs up here. So we could use those up there. But yeah, things are coming along. We've changed out how a lot of things work around here, including down here with these lines needing maybe more vehicles. This one looks like it already does as well. Uh, and how's things down here? These are getting to where they need to go, so that's good. Not this line. It's line one, it's coming up here. Going over to there, gotcha. But we really need to get more on that, I think. More going through there. Okay, we just delivered some stone, which means this can actually get underway, which is good. We might need another boat on there even. Wait, where's this other boat? It's going back that way. think that's a good upgrade down here a lot of the stuff is being distributed out across the cities rather than just to one or two spots and that should mean that oh have we changed how these so they're filling up filling up filling up filling up and we don't want them waiting too long because they could take one of two things. So they'll wait for 45 seconds. Oh, 45 seconds, three even. 45 seconds. And that would be the same with the deli lines. Where's the. So they're filling up for 45 seconds and then they're going. They're taking food and bricks. Go. 
Kawasaki's taking goods and machines. stuff on this line. That's alright, because we've, uh, oh, I thought we'd bought some more vehicles for that one. Maybe we'll need some more? It's got about 100 tools there. I don't want them to go to waste. Wait, hang on. Oh, it's got machines, sorry. Machines, tools are going this way. we got a lot of traffic down here. We're going to need to... Uh Look at this a little bit more and see what else we can do. It's this link here that I, th I think is causing some issues. Um, now that we've removed stuff from that, it should help at least, but I don't know whether it's going to freely flow through. We've of course changed up the. Wow. Lots of people want to go to the harbour. Down here. To go to the various islands. Quite a few want to go around Kawasaki as well. It's probably time that we actually upgraded these trams. Um, Might as well do it in one foul swoop. So upgrade it to whatever we've got. So the BE56 Cobra. 37 mile an hour and has 45 capacity. Seems pretty decent. And both of those cities are getting pretty big. So I'm going to add another um, vehicle on both. This line could probably do with some... Oh wow. We've got the older vehicles. If we upgrade those, that should make a big difference straight away. Because they're faster, they have more capacity. I'm pretty sure they load faster as well. Which makes a little bit of difference. What does this line do? Ah, it's coming through this way. Maybe we don't want them going through Shangsha. Is this starting to get some more steel? It is. That's good. This needs way more um, goods to, to produce what it needs to produce. Damn, this is just getting backed up here. Gonna have to get rid of some of these. To keep things flowing. Of course, when three hundred logs come down. There's probably some more behind them. Here's some more. Here's some more. They'll need to shift what they've got.
much this is affecting things because we could just have it all come out here and then we've got these ones which are trying to get to Delhi they can cut through here so if we took out this exit that might help but it could also not Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Mind you, that's quite a hill there. Maybe we could have it come over and then another line in or something. Maybe we just need to upgrade this little slap of road. Which we can't. Too much slope. Again, plastic here is so much stored as well. It's just going to take quite a while for that to burn through all that oil. It's not so much an issue this stuff coming through this way, it's just all of these roads uh, getting backed up. <clears throat> it'll give it <laughs> I was hoping it would give it a dedicated right hand lane and it's not it's just done <sighs> to go straight ahead it's giving it a dedicated left hand lane for nothing to use that's great thanks game We downgraded this road. It would sort that out. So let's do that. Let's downgrade for the lane mathematics. Could make this just an exit, and then stuff will get stuck behind road stuff like this. Nothing's really going to the airport, which is interesting. So this was the harbour line. It's now <laughs> the airport line. And it's getting less traffic going to the airport. 
than before. Oh wow. That needs... Do we have newer, newer planes? So these are 757-200s. Um, so that's these ones. 555 miles an hour, 50 capacity. These ones go a little bit slower, but have more capacity. These ones go faster with less capacity. So actually, the 757s are actually quite a good deal. These Tupolevs, Tupolevs, two 204s are actually more expensive to run. Maybe we just need two more. What's this one doing? Yeah, that one's pretty busy as well. So getting more planes on there should help, hopefully. That's good though. That's a good thing. That's a good connection between the two islands. Um, which is exactly what we want from it. Look at that, it's such a big winner for us, money-wise. It's making so much money, it's bizarre how much money it makes. And yet there's only <laughs> so many people here. Bizarre. Pretty much full already. The nice thing about brick factories is it's one to one conversion rate and it's actually, it can, so it can produce 400 and consume 400. These can produce 400. So you only need one uh, quarry for one brick factory. Just trying to get them linked up correctly. reduce how many are on here so that there's some planks left over for when we want to effectively get that down to zero just when another boat's arriving um, where do we have up here isn't it these need to be delivering more and more wood so much shipment, which is bizarre. Is this goblin it all up? No, not quite. Wow. 
doing all of these transform all that they're doing <laughs> through to here so these just need to ship more how do you get the shipments up consumers maybe that's why we got a consumer there which oh my goodness this needs more vehicles on it that needs more vehicles on it We should probably swap these over actually, because that's quite a harsh bend for them to go around. So if we put that one on number two and that one on number one, it means that they'll be able to do a nicer curve for when they're uh, delivering. That's a lot of traffic. Where's it all going? Hey. An industrial building over here, so it's going through this way. Why is it not coming through here? Oh, I guess it wants to go that way and then over here. Which kind of makes sense. what we need to do is provide a better connection through this way because all these be waiting and this is not very clear not very uh, easy to transport through we can't upgrade those upgrading that is probably the wrong move I'd say having a road come through this way is probably the best of both worlds because then we'll be bringing things down this way because it's a faster route through. Maybe even have a connection here. That can't upgrade, but it will. We can upgrade it if we. Did something like a straight route through here. This comes down here, plugs in there, and then this comes up to here and plugs in there. So hopefully now traffic will decide to go that way because there's a faster route through. They're faster route. Ooh, we need to. Add a connection there. That's the hope at least. It looks like some of it's already starting to go down this way. That's going to residential building there and it's choosing to go down this route. So. That looks like it's having the right effect. 
Because down here, like, this is just busy because it's a busy area. We can't do much to improve the traffic down here. Um, so I'd rather have a bypass that stuff can go through. It's probably the best way for that to get to where it needs to go. And stuff's already choosing to use it. Which is good. Good, 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 good. So hopefully this lot will clear up with time. These seem to be keeping to quite good levels. Which is, is good. We don't want it to overflow, but we also don't want the sh uh, trains to be empty when they go anywhere. That is not. So let's get some vehicles on that. this one down here doing? Yeah, pretty well. Look at the box cars. No, not even taking anything from there. Oh, maybe it's just come through. I've picked up one goods. <laughs> uh, and then... This one's not going to have anything for a toffee. That one's got some goods. This one's got some stuff to pick up. Cool. Where um Where are our very poor connections? Okay. That one's one. I mean we already have so many trams for Hamhung. Maybe we just need to upgrade them. So these are currently the LM68s, which have 35 capacity and go 37 miles an hour. We could upgrade that to 45 capacity and 37 miles an hour. So same speed, more capacity. Now hopefully that will clear that through. Where's the next one? Surabaya. Here. Again, upgrading these trams should have. You know what? Let's just upgrade our trams. It's a shame they don't have a. Oh, we don't have trams there. Does that only show tram lines? So these are trams. We need to rename them trams. That way we know which ones are trams. Whoops. But in the meantime, let's upgrade those vehicles. I think these are already BE57 Cobras. These ones aren't. They're pretty cute, aren't they? Uh, maybe they look better in the icon. <laughs> These are trams. These trams. Oh dear. What did I just do? How 
how many of these are trams? That's not a tram. That's a bus. Bus, bus. Tram. 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 I mean, they technically go on the road. But naming them this means that I can... So they're buses. They're buses. differentiate them a little bit easier. I really should copy the word tram. Tram. Copy. Bus, 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 tram. So they all started out as bus routes, and we've upgraded them to trams when they need them. These are trams. These are trams. These, again, trams. We've got so many of them. We haven't upgraded the name. Are those trams? Yeah, those are trams. This will allow us to go through our tram lines a lot easier and upgrade them all at one foul soup when we get new trams. Because new trams move more people faster. God, we have so many of these. Maybe that should be my new habit in future is to just name them tram lines rather than call them road lines because they will become tram lines eventually once the city grows and there's more need oh my god there's so many of these Anytime now, we're going to see the tram lines come into focus. There we go. Or come into the uh, bottom of the list. It'll be like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Right. With all these road lines now renamed, we know which ones are trams. So we can just select them all and swap them over for these cobras and that should improve movement through the areas so this one's an issue Shenyang uh, <laughs> this is one that we could upgrade to trams and it would probably be benefit from it and we've actually got Shenyang's Shenyang's grown quite a bit So this might be something that we need to upgrade. If we do one here, one here, maybe one over here as well. That should cover 
all the new areas. Oh, maybe not. We've still got stuff down here, which we haven't covered. Um, we'll do one over here as well. And we'll upgrade them to trams, because why not? We've just gone through all of our trams. So Shenyang going this direction. Need to go through here and here. And then after number seven, go through here and here. And then the other direction, there, there, after number seven, there, there. Let's just pop these onto 